video on uh, switching of food back to new life spectrum has brought back the color and this uh, black phantom tetris uh, fins and if you notice there's kind of a efflorescence in the fins of diamond tetris and if you go back and look at previous videos kind of where I switched to flight food and then blood worms heavy in blood worms and then periodically flex food and now I'm back on 100% new life spectrum. So I thought I would share that. And they're all hovering because it's feeding time. buffer system over to trying the just the neutral regulator. Uh, my pH is running high and I'm using tap water and prime during the winter months, I noticed the pH has risen in my tap water. So, eventually, I plan on adding discus to the tank and I'm trying to fine tune the water quality, uh, which eventually will involve a RODI unit. But I wanted to do a compare and contrast um, with the tap water, with the discus, and another project I'm working on, and then show the transition over to RIDI water. So this carbonate buffer system is specifically for the Planet Aquarium. Uh, one thing I did notice with my tank is I had to, uh, it requires for me in this tank constant dosing, so if I dose the recommended amount one day and wake up the next morning and it's, um, the pH is moved right back to uh, 740, 735. So the product works, it's just um, one wanted to try something different that was going to be a little bit more, um, I guess, long term. So um, that's that. Temperature is hovering between 83.3 and 82.7. And pH is currently down to 7.25 thanks to two teaspoons of neutral regulator and I'll add more later on this week or over the weekend and that's pretty much what I wanted to cover oh with this system I was doing the following ratio. So, 20 teaspoons per 20 gallons um, of the acid buffer.
buffer and which works uh, which also lowers the pH down to 640 or so but within 24 36 hours it's right back up to 740 Prior to dosing the neutral regulator, two teaspoons, this pH was at 7.40. So, what I'm going to do is recalibrate just to make sure. I have uh, 7% and or Yep, seven and then four. So I'm gonna run the aqua controller pH probe through a calibration and just to make sure that this is as accurate as possible before I dose any more of either one of these two products. Add a little bit more. It's all gone. Alright, thanks for watching. Welcome new subscribers, and feedback is always welcome. And if you like, please rate, comment.
and we'll stay tuned for next update. Thanks for watching.